Hello everyone. Today I wanted to show you a text editor that I'm working on. It's called Selma. You can see it here. It's running. Uh, the first thing you might notice is these lines all over the place. Uh, it's because I just implemented a chunking system and the render rendering uh, engine doesn't really realize uh, that the cursor has been switched to another chunk so the graphics sort of sort of uh, stays there but I'll fix that soon um, the other thing you might notice is the smooth scrolling uh, I implemented that like 15 minutes ago um, the camera sort of follows the cursor in a very smooth way uh, which I think is pretty cool uh, right so let's get into business let's start typing stuff um, let's start with hello world this is Selma. Right, so the first thing you might notice is uh, the rainbow effect. Uh, that was very easy to be implement because Selma is based on cells. Um, each character that you type is placed in a separate cell. Uh, this is this can also cause problems. Uh, for example, if I'm on the same line as this text and I start typing, uh, I will actually overwrite that text. But I will, that is an issue that I will start working on uh, soon, uh, so that it will behave like a normal text editor. Uh, so that's pretty cool. But the reason I wanted to make this cell based was because uh, it's pretty easy to manipulate these cells uh, programmatically. Uh, so that's why. For example, this rainbow effect was very easy to implement, like I said before. Uh, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was Selma. Uh, I will start polishing it and stuff. Um, I will add like line numbers to the left. And also, uh, one thing I plan to implement is uh, is a file file tree here, so that when you open Selma in a project, you can actually see all of your project files here. Uh, so that would be pretty cool. Um, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys, and I hope you like it.